welcome back to another video. We're one step closer to wrapping the Z. Actually, we're gonna be wrapping it like tomorrow, uh, the, the next day. But there's a couple things I need to fix before we wrap the Z, and if you don't know what color we're wrapping it, uh, you're gonna have to wait. But we're wrapping it, and I need to fix a couple things before we get to wrapping it, which is rust on the outside of the car. Uh, there is a little spot of rust on the fender, like inside of the fender, and uh, I'm no expert on how to do this, but we're gonna have to fix that before we wrap the car. So the, the spot of the rust I'm talking about is right here, right behind the fender. The, the rear quarter panel actually right here uh, if you see that it's starting to get really bad uh, this fender needs to be rolled anyways but um, yeah this part actually like chipped off so I, I just need to like clean this part out and I'm no expert when it comes to fixing rust or anything like that I'm just gonna try to like clean it as much as I can and I fill it with some Bondo and pr I've watched YouTube videos this is what I do I'm the same as you, I watch YouTube videos on how to do stuff. And then I get on here and try to act like I know what I'm talking about. That's our only difference. First thing is gonna be closing this garage door. This is freaking hot outside and I'm gonna open the fan. So first things first, I'm gonna take that wheel off and then I have a clear, you know, I can see it more clearly. All right, so now since I took the wheel off, there's a more clear picture of what, what needs to be fixed of the rust. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. All right, so this part a little already chipped off and uh, there's more under here. I don't know if it goes all the way. Maybe maybe it does, I don't know. But um, it's all, like it starts, I think, I think it starts a little bit like right here and then it just keeps going and it's towards the outside too. So I'm gonna sand all this down and try to clean it up. And the sanding paper I'm using is 80 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna go at it and see how much it takes off. I don't know how long it's been exactly, but it's dark out now, so it must have been a while. And uh, I've encountered a bigger problem than I thought initially. Uh, I thought it was just a small spot of rust, but this whole fender well, it's covered in rust up to like here and around like that deep. Uh, so what I did was uh, I kind of opened it up and uh, got as much of the rust as I can out. Uh, so this is two pieces right here. Uh, there's one piece and then the second piece here. It's opened up so there is about this much rust which I sanded down with 60 grit sandpaper. I tried to get as much of it off as I can and since it is exposed metal now so I just painted it black. Uh, this won't matter but this won't matter because it's on the inside anyway. But what I have now is just two sides of the quarter panel out. Now I need to combine these, put some Bondo over it and there's like a mesh. I, bu I bought this like kit so I'll show you in a second. But uh, I need to have this part closed and uh, and then we should be good. All right, so while I wait for that paint to dry, this is the rust uh, hole repair kit that I'm talking about. Uh, since it is for a relatively small spot, I don't think I need much. Oh wow, they have sandpaper in here too. All right, so they have some Bondo. This is Bondo. They have body filler. So, also some sandpaper, 80 grit, and 180 grit, and 320 grit sandpaper. They have all of that here. Also this mesh, this is what I need to cover up the spots. I feel like it might be enough, and it might not be enough. I don't know, I might cut this in half, and I'll, I might have enough, I don't know. And we have some red cream hardener focus. There we go. I never really used Bondo or, you know, not that extensive. I've used a little bit of it, but you know, I don't have much experience, so we'll see how this goes. I just like to remind myself that things can't get any worse. You know, when you're trying to fix something, it's already broken, so it can't really be worse. It's just my train of thought at that moment. All right, my mixture looks all in one color, so I'm gonna take it now. Oh. I'm gonna take it now and uh, put it on our surface here and I put those mesh things I kind of cut it in half so I would have enough and I put them in between so yeah that's just what it says to do online all right uh, kind of looks like crap right now that's what I'm left with here um, I tried to get it on like everything that was exposed 
also I tried to fill in the gap here so I could just sand that down but no need to worry uh, I think this is the part where you just fill it in and then after that when you put the body filler I mean the yeah the body filler in that's when you try to make it all perfect so I'm gonna let this rest for about like 15 minutes and I'll be back to check on it all right it's been about 15 to 20 minutes this is all hard now I guess I'm gonna sand this down and try to get it to the same shape and then oh this place is still here and then we'll put in some of the body filler the next day all right so that didn't go as planned I sanded everything down but the problem is uh, I need more bondo I think so it's all smooth and nice but the problem is the shape the body lines are not really like following so there's some parts that are missing like here and over here is a little rough it goes in and out so I just got to make it all smooth and like put some more bondo and follow the body lines and then I think I'll be good to go all right, I applied a second coat of Bondo. Uh, I think the lines are better now. And I just tried to get like a bigger space. So the bumpiness here should be gone. If not, I have to add more Bondo. But uh, I'm gonna wait for this to dry for like 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll come back to sand it. So, all right, uh, it's been about 20 minutes or so. It looks the same, uh, but it's obviously it's hard and you know, it's not soft anymore. Now I'm gonna get to sanding this and try to shape it up to the best I can. And uh, we'll go from there. If it's not good enough still, I'll need to add some more Bondo and try to get the shape all good. Uh, I kind of lost track of how many hours it's been since I started this, but I'm on like the final stages. I put on the body filler. Uh, of course, sanded everything down before, but now I have body filler on there and I'm waiting for it to dry. It's, it's drying up. You should wait around like 15-20 minutes. But after that, uh, it's gonna be a final sanding and then uh, I wait an hour and then I put on some primer. And hopefully I'll be done. And this is not perfect by any means. I just did my best. I think it, it turned out better than I expected. I'm gonna let you know of the next step, which is when I primer. All right, so now this is all dried and I just sanded it with 80 grit sandpaper. Um, looks... It's looking pretty good overall. I think it looks good. Also now I'm gonna go ahead and do the 180 grit and then 320 grit. So it should be looking uh, buttery smooth after that. Even now it's just like smooth and it's fully like blended in. But it's just, you know, to make it a little bit more smooth because when we put wrap on this, I don't want anything to show. All right, I'm all good to go and clear, whoa. I'm all good to go and clear. This is my final product. Um, well, not really the final product. There's gonna be primer on that, but I have to wait an hour apparently before I do anything. So I'm waiting an hour. I'm gonna put primer on it and then uh, it should all be good. I mean, good to go. I think after the primer, I might sand it down one more coat, but I'm not sure. Uh, I might not again. So um, this is buttery smooth, by the way. I just love touching it. Like, damn. That'll be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash the, the thumbs up. If you don't like it, press dislike. Uh, we're wrapping the car tomorrow, so there's that. Um, I'm assuming, I think in the next video, we'll be wrapping it. And the next video, you might see this car a different color. I don't know, I might do like a reveal video too, just for my own sake. I know nobody cares on here, but you know, that's about it. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, peace. Don't you just love it when... Like, it, yo. Working on cars and shit is cool, but like the mess you make right after, it's not fun to clean. Like, damn. I'm really satisfied with the results of this so far there are stuff that looks bunk it looks bad uh but they are at places where you won't see them so that's good <laughs> that's all that matters uh, i think with the wrap it's gonna look sick as as beep sick as beep uh yeah i don't have much for this rant portion i i just dropped something uh, i'm gonna clean up and get to sleep because it's late i'll see you in another video all you rant people peace out 
Also, I don't ever want to do body work again. I, I have major respect for body shops now. I've developed major respect for body shops. I think y'all do like the hardest shit ever on a car. So, uh, major, major respect, bro. If you own a body shop, you do body work. <sighs> Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Damn, these lines, though, it's so nice to touch.